What's going on, guys? We are back once again, and you know, I did do review remasters and games that I thought they deserve a remaster, and I never initially reviewed all the Halo games. I did, but I didn't, and I figured I'd just go ahead and do that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into not only my memories, but my personal feelings towards every single Halo game of the franchise that I have not only played, but I owned, slash own now, because Halo really got me into more gaming, man. That really what really drew me towards the Xbox. And Halo is, let's be honest, Halo is what made Xbox Xbox. That is the baby of Halo. It pretty much is the poster child, if you will, of Xbox. And it always will be, no matter what anyone says. It will always be the poster child to Xbox and Halo will always be that not only for myself but I think other fans that have loved this franchise for so many years because I remember I played Halo at a friend's house and then I want to say a year or two later <clears throat> around Christmas and I got the Xbox the original Xbox and I got Halo as well and I remember I told you guys the story as well and I got the first Halo and I got the second Halo on Xbox, the original Xbox on Christmas. I believe it was 2003 or 2004, which which one, whichever one. And I played both and I loved them. And I remember playing the first one, the second one all the time. And then let's go on years later, Halo 3 came out. I was in uh, seventh grade, actually. I remember when, when I was in seventh grade, Halo came out. It was in 2006. I want to say I want to say Halo 3 came out in 2007. I could be wrong, but I remember playing it nonstop. I remember I I had it ordered for the Legendary Edition, where we had like the helmet and it got you know you could put the uh, the copy in there. And I wish I would have kept it. I, unfortunately, I do not own it no more. I lost it when I moved, which I really regret. Uh, I wish I would have kept it with me, but unfortunately, due to circumstances, I, I was not going to be able to bring it with me, slash uh, be able to uh, carry it on. But maybe I'll find it some other day. But I remember I got that game, and it took me a while to finish it due to I was, you know, middle school, so had to do my homework, had to uh, do my chores, had to do this, had to do that, you know, and had to eat dinner, and, and I had to uh, catch up on whatever that was going on with friends and and family but at the end of the day all I want to do is play Halo and I, I remember I had so many girls that you know I knew so many guys I knew that wanted to play Halo 3 and I remember I had a girl I knew and she was like well I got to play Halo 3 I got to play Halo 3 and I'm like I did too I, I own it you know and that was a high thing she got a little mad but I was, I was loving it man because it was like hey guess what girl I can play Halo 2 you know it's just like to me Halo was one of those that it just it opened doors to not only I would say competitiveness but also to gaming all around the world I think to not only not just males but females too I think that Halo really had more uh, female players really go to it which I absolutely think that's amazing and again Halo 3 is just an amazing game now now when we go into Halo Reach man oh my gosh I remember I grabbed Halo Reach the day of it was released. I remember grabbing it. I was so excited to play that game, being able to just create my own Spartan, go on to Plant Reach and see how it all began. And I think Reach is probably one of my favorite games out of the franchise to this day. And I will never forget it because I have so many fond memories of going to GameStop, picking it up. And I was, I believe I was with my uncle at the time, and I remember I grabbed it, and uh, I was playing Xbox 360 all day. I was playing, you know, the story, and I was playing multiplayer, and I was, you know, nonstop. I, I, I played that game for months. I mean, I, I was addicted to it, and then all of a sudden, it just went away, you know? And then I remember playing Halo 3 ODST as well, which again, I liked, but again, it wasn't my favorite game time when going back to it. I really do enjoy it now. Um, I remember picking that up uh, as well because I, I just won the story and I really enjoyed that too. I got it, I believe, online, I, I want to say, or at GameStop, I can't remember which one, but I remember I was able to play that as well. And then I remember playing 4 when it came out, and I remember I grabbed 4, I ordered it online, it came in, and I played it all night, and I had friends at my house 
and they were doing whatever and I remember I played it all night and I beat it and when I look back at it now I kind of wish I would have done something different but again I was young I didn't know what I was doing you know and I kind of wish that I'd be able to change a few things but I but again gaming to me <clears throat> I had a lot of things going on at different periods of my life when I would be playing Halo and Halo always brought me into this world that I would be able to escape my problems and my reality and go into this world where, you know, you're playing as this badass Spartan super soldier killing aliens. You have this badass AI, you know, that's your friend slash, I guess, almost girlfriend in a way. And it just, it's just amazing, man. I mean, it's just amazing what Halo can do for people. I mean, it's really, it's helped so many people. It's helped not only for stories, but personal feelings as well. I remember when I got Halo uh, 5, I remember I was so excited to get it. And the story really let me down because I was like, man, I can't believe they, they, you know, the way it ended with Cortana dying like that and then coming back in 5 thinking, you know, something happened and it did. And then showing that, oh, you know, you're playing more locked than you are chief. And it just made it look like it was this from the trailers when it was actually this. So there was so much stuff that I think Halo five really messed up on i know there is a lot of controversy between fans but i know a lot of people including myself really want halo to get back to the roots of what halo is and i think that's what they're trying to do with infinite and i never really did play halo wars uh one or two i watched the cutscenes. i don't like gameplay like that um i just can't get into any kind of games of that nature so i just wanted to go ahead and just be like hey you know i'm done i'm not gonna play it but you know if you like if you guys like halo um Halo Wars, by all means, enjoy it. That ain't for me. Um, it's just, it's not my kind of game. It's not my cup of tea, so to speak. But again, it's something that I think Halo always has something for everybody. And that I think is just how Halo is. And <clears throat> being able to not only enjoy Halo, being able to customize um, from the books to, you know, Red versus Blue to the toys to. You know, fan fictions to uh, fan animations to fan made, uh, you know, customized fights and all this other kind of stuff and all the trash talk and, and the tea bag and everything. You know, Halo has always brought a lot of fond memories, not only to meeting different players, but gaining friends and, you know, uh, you know, having certain times where I would be up for hours upon hours of playing Halo with my friends online or, or you know, watching videos of whatever and being able to go through the story faster or something and I, and I really miss those days of just being you know young or a teenager and being able to play those games and, and relive in those days and you know being able to own uh, all the games as of right now I fully enjoy and I cannot wait to own the latest version of Halo that's going to be coming out later on this year but I figured I just wanted to go ahead and get my story out with why I like Halo so much and you know, let me know what you guys think. If you guys love Halo as much as I do, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, um, click notifications. I will be trying to go live when I get Halo uh, Infinite at some point. I will definitely do my best to try to go live or record some type of a gameplay, but I will definitely give you guys a review after I play the game either way. But what are your thoughts on Halo overall, guys? Are you got is anyone listening to this a Halo fan? Any of my followers, if you're a Halo fan, let me know the reason why down in the comments down below. Me personally, why I'm a Halo fan is because I love space. I love fighting aliens in the game. I love the, the the story. I love the origin. I love the characters, and it's just I, I can't get enough of it. You know, there's times I gotta take a break from it, and then I come right back, and it's just absolutely amazing every time I come back and I'm able to replay Halo again. You know, I feel like that I'm that little kid again playing Halo. But either way, let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, subscribe, click notifications so you guys are notified every time I upload. Leave a like. It helps the channel out greatly, and I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys, as always, on the next one.